Well, I had to do it. I came to a point to where I had to buy ink for my other one. And uh, before I decided I was going to spend $69 plus tax, $70 plus tax uh, for ink, I figured, you know what, it's time to buy a new printer. The other printer was probably... Ah, who the hell knows six years seven years old it was working just that you know it was uh, the ink uh, it's still available but it didn't do copies you know it wasn't wireless it wasn't duplex um, you know so I said you know what for ninety five dollars that was out the door and has enough ink to print probably 100 150 copies um let me just buy a new printer and get it over with so it's wireless it's a fax phone line can plug in um oh wait a minute is it a fax i don't remember well it tells me right here it is a printer a fax a scanner a copier and web and it's duplex which means it'll print both sides of the paper without taking it out and turning it around it does that automatically for you you'll see the paper come out and then go back in and turn around and come back out and print the other side so uh, which is nice so I really couldn't go wrong at that point like I said it cost me uh, 95 bucks 95 dollars and some change out the door after taxes and everything so you really couldn't beat it it's a discontinued model but big deal for out here in the shop it does everything i need it to do i have to print a couple of certificates that i have to do because i have a class tomorrow um and at this point like i say by the time i end up buying ink for the old one and i'm just still have the old one i might as well just buy the new one so that's what I did. All right, so I bought a printer last week from Staples, which is, if I get stuck in traffic and the one light, uh, two minutes. So I bought a printer the other day printer scanner blah 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 uh, duplex meaning it prints both sides of the paper and uh, all that good stuff it was the last one and they gave me an additional 10% off so, so far yeah, all right uh, and then they gave me extra ink as well so I brought it home, hooked it up, hooked everything up wireless, uh, and it didn't want to feed the paper. It kept telling me I was out of paper. So, I noticed that if I push one of the pages in a little bit further, it would catch. And I had to make sure that I had a large pile. So that indicated to me that the rollers were probably dirty. Because that does happen. And um, the tray itself may have had a problem. Because it didn't seem to want to spring up to load the lesser paper. So today I went back to Staples. And I was talking to him about it. And I said, listen, you know, do you guys work on these things? You know, he goes, oh yeah, he says, we work on them, and if we can't fix it, we send it back, and HP will send us a new one. I go, oh, great. However, they said, more than likely, it's going to go back. I says, well, I really can't wait for two weeks for this thing to turn around. I says, can you check another store? Yes, we can. They checked another the store. They said, well, there's another one on the other side of Harford. Well, okay. I'm not going to go to the other side of Harford. 
So I had asked them if they can get it down this way. They go, yes, but they have to wait for the next truck. So that can take up to six days. So, oh, great. So they says, well, wait a minute. So he goes and he talks to the general manager. He comes back, he says, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you the next model up because we have them, two of them in, in stock. He said, so we're going to give you the next model up for the same price. I go, whoa, okay, not a problem. I appreciate that. Now you got to remember, they gave me 10% off the other one because it was the last one in stock as well. So now, we're at the register with the manager, and she's, you know, doing the, the, the transfer on the two, taking the old one in and giving me the new one. And uh, I says to her, I said, well, listen. I said, when you gave me, or sold me the other one, you gave me 10% off. She goes, yeah. I said, well, in all fairness to you, you're giving me the next one up, which is a better printer, for the same price as the other one, and you're also including that 10%. I said, so I would be more than happy to pay you the additional 10% that you took off the other one. And she's looking at me because she really couldn't quite figure out what I was talking about. Well, finally she realized it, and she's looking at me like, why would I want to pay more? Well, it's not that I want to pay more, but I want to be fair. You gave me 10% off of one because it was the last one. So, now you've got to give me a better one, which is more money that you have in stock for the same amount as the other one, minus the 10%. I mean, I don't mind paying you the extra 10% to at least get you back up to where the other one was. And uh, she goes, no, 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 no. All right? She goes, appreciate it. Oh, God, right, wow. Well, what does she do? In return for offering, which she didn't take, by the way, she gave me a $40 ream of uh, specialty paper. Uh, you know that uh, this kind of stuff. You know that's kind of heavy weight and it's like uh, you know uh, textured a little bit. So she gave me a ream of that. Now that costs thirty nine dollars, and I do use it. So I mean, I use what she gave me. Um, so I said, "Wow!" I said, "Sometimes it does pay to be straight and try to do things right." You know, so she didn't have to do that. So. So anyway, now that I've got this one, i got to go through the installing again. Not so much the software into my system, but this, because I run it wireless. And on the other one, I took all my wireless uh, information off it, because I don't want it going back to the factory having all my passwords and wireless information in there <clears throat> for somebody to possibly take. Uh, so I naturally deleted all that information. This is the duplexer. This is what goes in the back of the machine. This is where the paper goes in, turns around, upside down, comes back out, so it prints on both sides. Um, some of your duplexers don't stick out like this. Some of them do. However, uh, the duplexer sometimes could be a pain in the ass because there's a set of wheels up in there and sometimes those wheels get dirty and when they get dirty it doesn't want to bring the paper back around so if you're going to buy one of these I personally would recommend when you're not using it keep a towel or something over it and make sure you keep a towel over the back side because this is open because this is the way it fits and you see the air here the holes uh, and if it starts getting a lot of dust in there it'll start acting up on you 
and the same for the back of the machine. So I always hang a towel over all my printers when not being used. Even my laptops, okay? there's a towel for that one. It, it doesn't take anything to throw a towel over it. Now, I don't leave my computers on. I wouldn't recommend doing that because then the heat, believe it or not, you may have a problem. So, but anyway, with that being said, I don't want to plug that in. I just want to plug in the power. I just took out the power cord. Um, I'm not a believer, believer of leaving the computer on when I'm not using it because it does run hot. It keeps running and running and running, so, uh, and it also gives sometimes the possibility of others to get in it, and if you're not monitoring it, you'll never know. So again, I never keep my computers on unless I'm with them. And the other thing is, why do I want to bring electricity? Why do I want to keep wasting the power? Turn it off. Shut it down. Not a big deal. Okay. Oh. All right. Now what's this little thing? That's a little Wi-Fi sticker. Get that out of here. Okay. Now let me reach over here, get in front of you. Sorry about that. And plug this in. That's plugged in. Uh, what I do is I keep everything plugged into a bar and then that's plugged into a switched circuit so when I turn on the switch everything turns on for me well it puts power to it I still have to hit the on button uh, but that's how that works this way I don't have to shut everything down every time I turn around I shut off the main and I don't have to worry about it too much so. Now, yes, the strips can use up some electricity, but I'm not going to use up half of what I would normally use if I had my computer running all night or all day or all whatever. Come on, there's a little piece of sticky on there. There it is. Come on. Boy. Okay. Why do you got enough of this shit on here? They could have cheapened the price of the damn printer if they took all this and made it one piece. Jeez. Okay. Boy. Oh, they. Oh, there's more on this one, too. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a miserable day today. It's not really cold. But it's damp and rained. You know, it had rain, so the ground's wet, the streets are wet. Um, and it's sticky. So it's a damp, cold, sticky day. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Alright, so that's that. Uh, what's this for me up here? This tells me what? Save up to 50%. One month free. If contact within seven days. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll look at that and read up on that. Let's see what the hell they're talking about. Meanwhile, I already have the software. Oh, no, I had the software for the other one in there. I may have to put the software in. Yeah, that's right, because this is the next one up. Yeah. Anyway, guys, instead of taking up a lot of your time, you don't need to watch me do this. Um, I'll be right back.